we are going to look at the single molecule level. The target we are looking for is a single protein, which is like thousands or tens of thousands smaller, times smaller than uh, dust. Protein separations are very important in the research and development of new drugs and also the production of drugs that are already in use. It can be up to 50% of the cost. And what we did here is look at this process at a very foundational level on the nanometer scale using advanced microscopy so that we found a way to design this separation process so it can be more efficient um, for the pharmaceutical industry to use. This is a column, a standard column that you would use in a lab to do an experiment on a daily basis. Basically what happens is that you see this white part here, it's a powder. Uh, originally it's silica gel and then you mix it with uh, a solvent and um, it forms this column. You would add whatever you wanted to separate on the top, like your solution, and as it goes down, it would uh, separate into different layers. And so at different points in time, you would have a different population or a different chemical coming out. So industrial and lab separation, so all across the world, these chroma chromatography processes are exactly the same. The simplest con is just like a colander. It's a size exclusion. So in other words, you have a pot full of spaghetti and water. All you want is the spaghetti, and so you design a column or a colander such that when you pour your mixture, spaghetti plus water, into the colander, the water goes through and the spaghetti stays behind. That's size exclusion chromatography. Then one step more complicated than that, say you have two kinds of spaghetti in your pot, one that's positively charged and one that's negatively charged. So now you design your colander such that not only does it have holes, so the water goes through, but now it also has charges so that the oppositely charged spaghetti stays and then this, the same charged spaghetti goes through. That's called ion exchange chromatography and that's the kind that we're studying. The engineered design that we developed with our collaborators at the University of Houston can lead to a five-fold improvement in the efficiency compared to what's commonly being used in the industry today. One of the reasons we're so proud of this research and, and also uh, this project is, is funded by the National Science Foundation's uh, engineering uh, directorate and specifically they're very interested in improving separation so there's a whole subset of the National Science Foundation that's very very interested in improving separations because it's such a, a important problem for not just pharmaceutical industry but many many different industries including it's important to Houston of course including uh, the petrochemical industry and then the other thing I think that's very nice is that from the National Science Foundation's perspective and also I guess everyone's pers perspective you would like the research experience to provide uh, an educational opportunity at every level of the educational experience and so when you describe what you're going to do in the future you always say that this is going to benefit uh, a postdoc because then they're, they're going to learn how to mentor students. It's going to benefit a graduate student because they're going to learn to be an independent researcher and it's going to benefit an undergraduate because it's going to introduce them to the exciting world of, of cutting-edge research but it doesn't often work out that way <laughs> and this project is, is an example of one that did work out that way that we have an excellent undergraduate student Andrea Mansour, an excellent graduate student Lydia Kisley and an outstanding postdoc Jishin Chen all working together um, to make this project work. 